Welcome to my Eco Buzz. My name is Jessica Gregory, and this is the first video post of 2019. Um, I'm excited to talk to you today about um, a structure built by one of my favorite creatures to watch, and that is um, squirrels. So we're going to be looking up to the treetops today, and specifically talking about tree squirrels, which spend most of their time up in trees, as opposed to chipmunks and other ground-dwelling squirrels. Um, the most common ones that we're going to see in this part of Michigan are the fox squirrel and the eastern gray squirrel, both of which build these um, nest structures called drays, which you can maybe just make out in the trees behind me. So these are one type of home that tree squirrels will build. Um, the other type is in a tree cavity, and typically squirrels will start to build their nesting structures or drays um, in the summer so what they'll do is they'll clip off branches that have green leaves attached and they will um, weave them together into a nest that's about a foot or so in diameter so these drays um, aren't usually super visible until in the fall when the leaves have come off of the trees and by that point the squirrels are insulating them with soft materials like moss, fur, even bark shavings, pretty much anything they can find to help keep them warm. Um, and that's because these squirrels don't hibernate through the winter, they rely on their fat stores to stay warm. Um, so it's not uncommon to have two squirrels um, huddled together in the same dray in order to keep warm on the really cold days. Um, and also typically these squirrels will um, build more than one dray and that's just to have an extra option in case one gets um, infested by parasites or invaded by a predator or something like that. Um, these drays that are up in the, the tree branches here um, aren't the squirrel's first choice in the winter um, and that's because the females give birth to a brood of young sometime in January or February and um, the tree cavity drays are just warmer and safer for the for the babies. So next time you are out for a walk on a dreary gray day, see how many of these squirrel drays you can spot. And another side note on that, um, you don't have to go very far to find these if you're a city dweller like me, so that's kind of nice. Um, I'm just in a neighborhood right now, so um, see what you can find. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time. Bye.